Hey, Yens, guess what? This week on Car Dad Bill, we have a 2023 Jeep Grand Wagoneer L Series 2 4x4. Yes, this is the one with all the room, all the room behind the third row, and it has the new 3 liter uh, Hurricane motor in it. Let's go for it. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to the channel. Then you can get up to date, quick news when new cars are coming. And we have cool cars coming almost every month coming up. So stay tuned. inside Grand Wagoneer look at this thing really really clean it's windy as heck today guys so it's a little bit in the background look at this this is when you know you have a really high-end interior when you have the separate seat controls on the side look how the wood grain starts over here and it has like it's like a lip underneath and it follows its way around the dash it follows its way underneath here look at that really nice i love how that goes across it's like a real piece of wood and then there's even like a little bit of a tuck behind there waterfall dash down to like the polished you know engineered gear shifter really clean really stylish stylish buttons down here and these are all touch haptic and I'm getting used to the haptic feedback they're not so bad my seats massaging right now that's correct this button hides the screen and gives you a place to charge your phone wirelessly and plug in stuff hit that button again closes it down and now you have the rear seat controls you have the screens you have the seat controls you have the front you have all kinds of controls just from that same up here dedicated hvac buttons here dedicated volume button and tuning button dedicated heated seat and steering wheel buttons on both sides and just a really nice screen overall touch screen obviously Let's look in the, oh wait, right here, you have another charging area and a gigantic um, cooler down here. Really, really clean, really nice interior. Facts and figures on the Grand Wagoneer. So it's a 23 model year, Grand Wagoneer L series, L series two, four by four. So this is the L, the bigger wheelbase, 12 inches longer than the other one. Three liter, six cylinder, twin turbo hurricane motor with 510 horsepower, 500 pound feet of torque, and a 9,700 pound towing capability, which is pretty key, pretty clutch. Base price is $98,090, which is crazy high, crazy expensive. Really nice SUV, obviously full to the gill. So the L model has 12 inches of extended cargo space um, and a little bit more of an overhang than the um, Grand Wagoneer previously. They say, well, the eight-speed transmission, we'll talk about the eight-speed transmission later, um, really like that. The um, mileage, though, is rated at 14 and 19. I'm getting 15 average. 15 average for 510 horsepower eight passenger capability this has seven obviously 
um, really awesome. The bottom line though, when you add in the um, rear seat entertainment group, the Amazon Fire, the uh, screens, the ventilated seats back there, uh, the Macintosh sound system, 23 speaker Macintosh sound system, sound system which I think is 100% worth it. Unbelievable sound system. Uh, and then your trailer uh, assist package brings that bottom line to 107, 725. That's a lot of money. Um, that's a lot of money. Let's get on the road and talk about it. All right, guys, so the, the pros and cons, um, what do I think of this thing overall, right? So a couple of my quick thoughts actually are the ride quality, the transmission quality, and the refinement overall. And those are really where I wanna spend most of my time because you guys know what you're getting. When you're buying a Grand Wagoneer L, you are getting the flagship SUV from Jeep and you are getting everything you can possibly get. Massaging seats, heated steering wheel, technology assistance on the road, technology everywhere inside the vehicle, everywhere, including all the rows. Even the third row has um, plugs and it's power and it's gorgeous back there. Um, I went back there myself for a little bit, but it's very tight for an adult to sit in the third row. <clears throat> that being said, when you buy a vehicle like this, in my opinion, I'm looking for refinement, um, ease of use, driving ability, and ease of use for the kids and for everyone else in the vehicle. That's where this car really shines. This SUV really shines, in my opinion. It gets 15 miles to the gallon, which is better than a lot of those V8 SUVs with seven passenger, eight passenger capability. You have a really new refined motor now. That three liter V6 twin turbo is so good and made it to that eight speed transmission is so good around town, on the highway. It doesn't clunk, it doesn't chatter, it doesn't hiccup. That's my favorite part of this vehicle, guys. It's the overall refinement and drivability of this for how big it is. It's not cumbersome. It's not hard to drive. It's fast. Can you hear that? It's fast while you have it loaded with people. Hey guys, real quick, can I go off on a little bit of a dad tangent here? What a great time we live in right now for car technology and car motors and horsepower ratings. Folks, I'm sitting in a Grand Wagoneer, mate, that has a three liter V6 twin turbo that's making 510 horsepower. I have a 2016 Audi A6, three liter supercharged V6, right? I think it's rated 333 horsepower, something like that. That's 200 more horsepower out of the same size motor, give or take, similar size motors, supercharged and twin turboed. And this is in a huge seven passenger long wheelbase SUV and it feels like you're driving a, a, a smaller SUV. Number one, because of the way it's built, it's great. But the power, can you guys believe the power we're getting out of these little motors now, out of the smaller motors now? Amazing stuff. That's it. Moving on. The two quibble areas that I have that aren't really that major, to be honest with you, um, is the price, obviously. It's extremely high. And the brakes. So the brakes, while I've had the vehicle, they make a funny kind of uh, yawning noise when you step on them. When it's quiet, when you're when you're driving with no radio on and you're listening to the to the vehicle to hear sounds that sound happens and then just in general as i'm applying the brakes they don't they have a limit to them and then the and then the jeep slows down still after that but i'm not used to that like limit of braking so that's different um and the price hundred and seven thousand dollars for a seven passenger now it's loaded up i mean loaded up you can see all the stuff i showed you the videos earlier there's a lot of stuff in this thing but i can't get over if you ignore the price and you ignore all the gingerbread and you ignore, ignore all the technology and all that stuff, right? I, I'm, pure, I'm a pure car guy in that way. I look at this as, is it satisfying the niche that it's after? Is it satisfying the people that it's going for? And I think it absolutely knocks it out of the park. It looks great. It, it drives amazingly. 
It has a very well-balanced steering and transmission drivetrain. It has everything you want. It's easy to drive. Um, some people are gonna want that V8 power for their towing capability. And you can go, you can still get that in other vehicles. But if you want a vehicle that's easy to drive, decent on mileage, um, good around town, good on the highway, uh, that, you can, that you can feel confident um, when your spouse or someone takes a vehicle, take a look at the Jeep Wagoneer, the Grand Wagoneer, and, and especially take a look at the three liter twin turbo hurricane motor. Awesome stuff. Car Dad Bill this week. Real cars, real people for real life. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody. See you next week.